I'm Roman, the Keller Golfer, and this is how I play the course. I'm standing actually on the 10th tee where they played the Scottish Open in Dundonald Links. Uh, some of you know this is one of my absolutely favorite courses. It hosted the Lady Scottish Open for two years as an amateur or pro-am event where I took part in it. A couple of more words to Dundonald Links. It was built by Kai Phillips, one of the most renowned architects for golf courses these days, at least in my opinion. And this is a classical, what I would call a new links course. So the course is not that old, but it, it incorporates some of the elements of traditional links courses. I mean, you will see a lot of gores, and as you probably know, once the ball is in the gores, it's gone. But also some trees are in play, and uh, distance-wise, and etc. It's more a modern course than one of the old traditional links courses. So hitting up balls here on that Arnold and draws up some memories. Being part of the Lady Scottish Open was a fabulous experience. And you're standing on the driving range next to the sort of Lydia Cole or Carlotta Chigana. And Van Damme was there at this time. It's one of her first professional tournaments. Uh, she did well and had a lovely chat on the putting green with her and so on and so on. It was just a lovely experience and I, uh, and I just, <laughs> to get me going on this, I could probably talk on for hours. But we are here for the course, so I'm going to hit some more balls and then uh, we're heading on to the course. So, yeah, so yes, we'll find that you. You can come on too if you like. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> people, please meet Colin. It was an absolutely great surprise that I met him this morning again because he used to caddy for me in both the tournaments 2014 and 15 during the latest Scottish Open. And he witnessed all the good and the bad shots. Uh, it just turns out he remembers all the bad shots. So, we will be reminded by the bad shots. Yeah, welcome to the first hole. Um, I, can, I personally consider it a tough opening hole um, because you see the bunkers on the left, you don't, definitely do not want to be in there. So it, there's a, t a straight tee shot required. The green is rather long than, than wide. Better be short of the bunkers than in it, but that's something we will, I will probably repeat that sentence uh, numerous times on this course because that's one of the key strategic elements of it. Let's have a go. One seventy yards to the front, yeah, and short of the bunker. Yeah, welcome to Scotland. First bump and run of the day, huh? Yep, too much. They usually do a little driver towards the bunker. Aye, ah, just cut it. And then um, the, wind, the wind will do the rest. It'll do the rest, yes. To the left. So I had 140 meters to the flag, uh, but I can highly recommend just try to hit it uh, in the middle or front of the green. It will roll a little bit, but the green is sloping left and right, has some different areas, so going for the flag is a brave thing here. So the third hole, a lovely par five. So, <laughs> Colin, this your caddy, he advises you on two ways of playing it. I should put you actually in front of the camera, you can play it yourself, it's easier. Uh, either you, you do a layup shot on the left side towards the far bridge, but there's a creek, the burn, goes, goes, goes right to left, 
and crosses it, so make sure you have the right distance if you want to go forward, and that is probably just a medium to short iron if you leave it left, right? Uh, the other possibility is just go right for the green, which is just over this gorse bush. Uh, it looks huge, it's not that deep. Once you've carried it, there's plenty of room uh, behind it. So I'm aiming on the left side, left corner of the bush, and the green is right behind it. It's an intimidating shot, I still think it, but I only managed it in practice rounds, so let's see how it goes today. <laughs> So over here is, would be the end of the landing zone if you play layup. And uh, yeah, well, if we would make better homework, I think, or more thinking, less chatting, more thinking. Uh, up there was quite a lot of wind, so the, the ball was picked up by the wind and came down pretty early. You see, there's plenty of room here, but you have to carry that gorse bush, gorse bush which was about 180 meters from where I was. So this is a very interesting green. Yep, even more. Certainly left to right. Oh, poor guy. You don't want to be left here. I think there's a deep bunker in the, in the back, right? You don't see it from here. There's nothing in front of it. So rather short than anywhere else. So we have been talking about the wind. Today we have wind against us uh, on this hole. So um, my god just ended up slightly off the right side of the fairway, no problem at all. And I'm heading straight towards that little bunker in the back, but I will not be able to reach it. But we remember we had times when this was different, but we'll come to that. Hmm? The reason we are standing here is very simple. Uh, this is the 231 yards distance um, where I, with backwind though, um, where I hit my shot uh, during the 2016 uh, Ladies Scottish Open. And from here, more or less, I had one of my rescues at this time and I was aiming at the pole in the background, you will not see it. You don't see the green, so you just hit it towards the green. And yet the unbelievable happened. Uh, we approached the green, the ball was not there. We were, thought I lost it somewhere until uh, Colin actually had a look into the hole. And there it was, that was my first and only albatross, officially recorded by, <laughs> by the LED. And uh, yeah, well, probably one of the greatest moments in my golf so far. I will not try to attempt that today, but this is the spot and I'm just waiting for my own plaque down here. No, just <laughs> So although obviously from the divots this is a good spot to be, um, you need your caddy to approach that green, I think, because it's uh, sloping left, right, all the way down, and you actually don't see anything. Beauty of a hole. Go! Straight in the bunker. So this is a green with a lot of pin positions. You can have one in the left back corner. Front right, front left, where it is right now in the back here, this bunker comes into play, nasty thing. Yep, the Scottish roll, the shorter the hole, the more difficult the greens. Yeah. Back right. 
you want to be just right to the right of that. To yep. the right, between that bunker, the middle bunker and the right hand bunker. Okay? Yeah. There you go. Stay. Drive. Nice One, drive. 170 meters to the hole. Now turn back. So, it's a short par 4, but as we know with short par 4s by now, the, the shorter the hole, the tougher it is. Avoid the bunker on the left. Oh, that's bad. That's about bad. So there's actually plenty of room here. But, I ended up in the bunker. How to make an easy hole hard? You hit the feather bunker. Well, that's what I call an unlucky bounce. Although those bunkers are not really in play with backwind, as soon as you're over here, there you see it is plenty of room, especially on the left. My ball seemed to be in the middle of the fairway, but it turned out to be on the right of the fairway, but nevertheless, shot is okay. I'm not sure if you see it already, the green is, is really narrow. It's a bowl, afterwards it goes a little up at the end and afterwards immediately down. Yeah, 105 meters, little backwind. Just the wedge, but difficult enough. Go. So you say if you're coming down here, the bunkers are not really in play. But as soon as you're, you see that's the ball shape. If it's a bit too short, it takes a huge jump over the green. So there are some interesting shots from the back here. You can either jump it up or six iron putt. Putting it up in the air might be an idea. You see it's sloping down towards the flag. Tenth hole. Yeah, dog leg to the left. Pretty long. The idea is a little left, but you don't want to hook it, right? Like that. So I remember this hole as being tough, especially into the wind. <laughs> Today we are a bit lucky, no, with no or not much wind, well, uh, it's fine, right? It ain't tough from here, okay? Well, as you know, usually I'm not spending much time on putting, but here on these greens, it's just so much fun, I have to support it. <laughs> um, so straight down from about here, right? I can see so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I take that any day. Yeah, that's a gimme. Easy for what? <laughs> Easy for it. Welcome to the 11th.
So we see the whole green is sloping back to front. I know, I know we see the flag, we are tempted to go there, oh, but... I bet we could, we could, no. I'm a further on, and so you've got 220 metres to the middle of the green, okay? So you want to go down the left side, yeah. at those yellow... Well, we play later. Okay. I hit it really well. Yeah, man. The whole might to invite you to cut over over the bunkers, but I think unless you hit your drive to 15 or more, and oh, you got helping wind, it's not a really option. Then you lose your ball. In my case too, use the wind, hit it straight, let it come around. With wind from the back, it's three wood or less. And then you have a lovely shot into the green. Yeah, this play is not from my shot, but from Rafa Cavallo's shot. He hit a tremendous great shot from here onto the green. I remember I tried it too, to, hit, to go for the green. Ended up in the ditch in front of about 3,000 spectators. It was a little bit embarrassing.
Well, that's it with Keller Golfers. How I play the course today from Dundonald Links in Ayrshire, Scotland. I have to admit, you have probably noticed that it's one of my favorite courses. I love playing here, especially with a friend and old caddy, uh, Colin. But nevertheless, I have to make some advertising here for the region for golf in Asia and Scotland in general. But this coast is just lovely. It breathes golf. There are so many lovely golf courses in here. Not only Dundonald, but Western Gales, Royal Troon, Crestwick, and how they're all called. And uh, I made you some more advertising here for the Eric Anders Lang, who did the official, unofficial guide of Scotland. And uh, where he covers a lot of the courses and the stories behind the, the clubhouses, etc. It's a great watch. Uh, I'll probably find a link now or put in a link in the video here um, because I really think it's worth it and I cannot emphasize enough that this region is really a second destination for golf in Scotland. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like, please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment of course if you want to. And I hope to see you soon here at the Keller Golfers. Bye!